Hello everyone! Before I get started I am going to check that I am indeed live because I've been caught out by this uh, a couple of times before where I've done a whole live and then realised it wasn't actually uh, live at all and so I've had to do it again. So there I am. Okay so I wanted to come into the page today and kind of continue my theme of planning and productivity that I've been talking about all this month. Um, and I wanted to chat, sorry, I'm just going to move this back because it's going to bother me now. I wanted to chat about three ways that you can declutter your life. And the reason I'm talking about this um, alongside planning and productivity is because I recently watched a Facebook Live um, from a very clever lady called Sarah King um, where she was talking about um, decluttering and it kind of struck me how the two are so connected and that how having clutter around um, can, I guess by definition, make us lose focus and be less productive. So the first, I guess, type of clutter that most of us tend to think about when we're uh, when you hear the word clutter, is physical clutter, the physical clutter around us. So that's the one. I'm, the first type of clutter that I'm going to talk to you about today. Um, but there are other types of clutter as well, which which I'll get to. Um, so I'm just also going to make sure that my notes are up, so that I don't forget what I was going to tell you. Um, so physical clutter. So this isn't just the clutter in your workspace, because I'm going to get to that um, in a bit. This is. This could be clutter anywhere in your life, really. It could be clutter around your house. Um, it could be clutter in your car, in your garden. Um, anything that's going to distract you. And it doesn't have to be there right in front of you while you're working to be a distraction. I'm sure you know that. Um, so have a think about what kind of physical clutter you find most frustrating. It might be clutter in your wardrobe. When you w open your wardrobe each day to get dressed, you might kind of have a bit of a sigh and think, oh, I need to sort this wardrobe out one of these days and, and kind of go through it. I've got so much stuff in here that I never wear. It might be every time you get in the car, you think, oh, I need to sort through this car. It's such a mess. There's so much rubbish in here. Um, or it might be your kitchen cupboards need going through. You've got stuff there. Um, dating back to, you know, the 1970s, mum. Um, uh, so have a think, what kind of physical clutter do you find most frustrating? And then, whatever that may be, um, I want you, this weekend, to get it sorted. Not next week, not next month, not when you have more time. This weekend, make it a priority. Get it sorted, and I guarantee you, you will feel so much better and you won't have that kind of nagging frustration and annoyance at the back of your head while you're trying to focus on other stuff that's more important. So that's physical clutter. The second type of clutter that I want to talk to you about is the clutter in your workspace. So of course that can also be physical clutter. Um, so uh, whether that's clutter on your desk, clutter in your office, or just clutter in whichever room that you work if you don't have an office. Um, so that is going to be distracting and even if you're there saying oh I don't mind a bit of mess it isn't necessarily the mess that's distracting you although in a lot of cases it will be um, but even if you don't mind mess just the fact that you've got clutter um, you know perhaps it's like kids toys or um, whatever it may be if you're trying to build a business and sell a professional service, you need to feel like a professional while you're working. And if you have all those constant reminders of your non-professional life there in front of you, it is bound to take focus away from what you're doing and bound to have an impact on your mindset as to how you feel while you're working, which in turn will impact the work that you do. So think about the clutter around you um, and how that is going to affect um, both your productivity but also your mindset while you're working. 
and get it sorted. <laughs> um, but there's other types of clutter that you can have in your workspace as well. So it's not just physical clutter, but digital clutter. So think about your desktop, for example. Is that absolutely full of like random bits and bobs that have been there for years, stuff that you saved that you're never going to use again, um, stuff that you don't even remember what it is anymore, um, in which case go through it, sort it out, clear it out, declutter and you will feel so much better. Um, another big one for digital um, clutter is your email inbox. You know, when was the last time you went through your emails and deleted out all the stuff you don't need anymore, sorted things into organised folders. Um, when was the last time you went through your email subscriptions and actually unsubscribed from all those emails that you go through every day, not even opening, but just deleting because you know you'll never read them? How much time do you waste doing that? I know I waste so much time doing that. Um, I'm definitely not speaking here from a place of it, living in this perfect clutter-free world. You can probably even see behind me. I'm surrounded by clutter. Um, so I, I um, have to practice what I preach as well. Um, but yeah, your, your email inbox, I mean, that's a, that's a big opportunity for decluttering and saving yourself a whole lot of time and getting more focused. You know, go through all those emails that you, you get sent, you know, daily, weekly, and that you don't read and unsubscribe, you know, clear them out of your life and save yourself some time. Um, not mine, of course. I hope you read that one. <laughs> um, okay, so that is clutter in your workspace. And sorry, just checking my notes to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. So the last piece of clutter um, that I want to talk to you about is perhaps the one that will affect your work the most and that's clutter in your mind. Um, now just getting rid of that physical and digital clutter that I've talked about there is probably going to have a really positive impact on the clutter in your mind because of course the clutter around you, the physical clutter, is what's going to be, you know, a lot of that will clutter up your mind as well. Hello guy! Um, but there's other types of clutter in your mind that can also affect your focus and affect your productivity. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was perhaps um, in some cases you might have um, a job or a project that you've been putting off and it's there kind of nagging at the back of your mind um, but you just haven't got to it yet and for whatever reason you keep putting it off and you kind of do everything else instead but that you have that constant nagging voice telling you at some point you're going to need to address this project, whatever it may be. So if that's you, then take a minute to think what it is about that project that is making you put it off. Um, stop putting it off and actually focus on it and give it, give it your attention and ask yourself why you're putting it off and if you actually really need to do it in the first place and then either get it done or bin it. Do whatever it is you need to do to get it out of your to-do list and out of your mind. Um, it, oftentimes when you sit and actually give it the focus it needs you realise that perhaps you don't need to do it or perhaps you didn't need to be putting it off in the first place um, but you need to give it that focus in the first place to get it out of your head. The other thing that can clutter up our minds is when we just feel like we've got so much to do and we haven't got enough time to do it and you kind of have this feeling of being completely overwhelmed and your mind is just kind of buzzing with all this stuff that you need to get done and you just can't concentrate because of all that stuff whizzing around in your mind. So in those situations, hey Ginny, um, in those situations, um, something as simple as writing a list, get it out of your mind, you know, um, I've started keeping a notebook by my bed because so often I'll be lying trying to get to sleep and I'll suddenly think, oh, I haven't done this, oh, I really need to do that. And I know full well that until I get it out of my head and somewhere where, I, you know, it's stored that I can go back to later, I'm not going to be able to sleep. So if you have all these thoughts buzzing around in your mind, get them onto a list. And then once they're on a list, you can then prioritise. So if you feel like you don't have enough time to get everything done, 
Get it written down so it's all there in front of you and not whizzing around in your mind and then start to work through each one. What do I have to do today? What can wait till tomorrow? What can wait till next week? And in fact, what things do I not really need to do at all? And my favourite, <laughs> what can I delegate to someone else? Um, because, you know, the chances are there's going to be stuff on there that perhaps either um, an employee can do or a family, you know, if it's not work related, a family member could help you with, a friend could help you with. Um, get it out there, you know. So those, those, that's what you can do when you're feeling kind of too busy and there's too much to do. Um, sometimes it's not a case of necessarily being too busy. It's just we've got a lot to think about. Perhaps we've got a lot of worries um, and a, a lot of things that are just kind of buzzing around in our mind because, you know, because we're stressed about something or we're worried about something, we're nervous about something. And, you, can't, you know, when you have that, it's so difficult to focus on anything else. Um, so, again, in, in a similar way to when I was talking about when you're too busy, the best way to get it out of your mind and to st stop it distracting your mind is actually just to, to get it onto paper or, you know, whether that be, whether it's paper or, you know, something digital, but write about it. I mean, for me, I've written a diary since I was 11 um, and it can be, it's so helpful. You've no idea, you know, you have all these worries and stresses in your head. Actually, just the process of getting them out of your mind onto a onto a diary or onto a you know even if it's like a word document just getting it out um helps you kind of almost give it the focus it needs and then get it off your head and and and, and be able to move on and get on with your work so i definitely recommend trying that um as a way of decluttering your mind um and then the thing with decluttering is it needs to be a regular process. Um, you know, take time on a regular basis to ask yourself those questions that we've just been through. What physical clutter is really frustrating at me at the moment? What clutter in my workspace is really distracting me at the moment? And what clutter in my mind is really causing me to lose focus and to not get stuff done? And, and then kind of make sure that you're aware of that clutter and then you can actually do something about it. Um, and there endeth my, <laughs> my speech. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, as I said, this is all part of my um, this month's kind of topic all around uh, planning and productivity. And we're leading up to a free seven day productivity challenge, which starts on the 27th of March. Um, if you would like to get involved with that, then I'll leave the link to join the challenge uh, in the comments once I finish this live. And you will receive a daily email starting on the 27th, uh, which will take you through a different um, tip or technique um, that you can try to help you be more productive. Um, I'll also be in my Facebook group business class. Uh, if you're not already a member there, then head on over and join. Um, for a live Q&A um, during that week to talk all things planning and productivity. So I'd love to see you there. Uh, as I say, I'll leave the link to join and um, yeah, the more the merrier. Uh, have a great weekend. I hope it's productive and I hope it's clutter free and I'll see you next week. Bye.